Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com and in this video the saga continues. Well, it's just about over almost. Uh, last week you saw that uh, I had no skin on the top, now we have the top down and uh, boy it looks pretty good. Uh, for my first attempt at this, I think this top came out great. The lines look really nice, the beading and all. And uh, I've been filming this whole project uh, as we do this top. So like I told you uh, last week, we're definitely gonna have a how-to on this. Um, just unsure if we're gonna have it as a, a table download or if I'm gonna put it up for free. Uh, so I'm looking into that and seeing exactly what I could do. Uh, but uh, here it is, guys. So check it out. Black canvas top, very nice. Uh, practically wrinkle-free, just a couple other spots, but these wrinkles will come out the more it beats out in the sun and the more you missed it. Uh, one of the things I will mention is when I, uh, we could not get this top down or closed for a little while. Uh, the top pretty much sat much, much higher. It would not want to close. It basically was about here. It just did not want to move. Uh, but until I put it out in the sun, I, got, I found a nice hot day and we, we, we rolled the car out and I was misting it while the sun was beating on it misting it with some water and you saw the steam coming off it and you saw the top slower slowly and slowly and slowly approaching the windshield frame and then eventually i was able to clasp it down and when i did do that i let it beat out even further misted it even more and more and more wrinkles were coming out so i was getting more of a uniform look um, so you still have a couple spots back here but a little more beating of the sun uh, and that will come out the nerve-wracking um, issue that I came across was this back piece here. Uh, there's a cable on these 68 and later beetles uh, that has to get inserted into a, a channel. And then part of the material basically gets kind of, goes up with the cable. And then the cable comes through here and goes through the body and then latches behind. Uh, this was very nerve wracking. I was sweating doing this, trying to get this cable up into this groove and then also trying to get the material up into the groove as well without it bunching for a little while. It was bunching on me and it just did not want to go up and into there. And you got to be careful. I do know that when you do put these cables in, they're they're, they tend to break. So I made sure uh, to buy a double cable. They're not expensive, so I just bought two. Uh, just in case because I, I do hear that they snap pretty easily they're, they're aftermarket cable so but mine did not snap and I was able to get this up and in and then as I was able to close the top further down this was able to push the material up into the groove even more you might want to get like a wooden paint stick or a um, I have those those wide blue uh, implements that I can use those impact a hard plastic to help groove up and move up this cable into the channel. That was a, a stickler of a time. And the other thing you gotta watch out for is that you want this seam to be aligned with the body line. So I was a little shifted and I had to, you know, loosen up the cable again and, and move this material to get it lined up. So, oh, I was sweating. Believe me, guys, you just, I know when you mess with this and you're doing a convertible top, the materials and the supplies alone, headliner and things like that can be very costly. So, you know, you don't want to mess it up because if you mess it up, you got to take all this back off and it's very costly to, to order all new material again, you know, so you got to, you got to factor in a good $1,500 to $2,500, depending on the materials that you use, that it's going to cost just in, just in stuff, just in top and padding and, and headliner and seals and things, you know, so, um, Headliner came out pretty good. Uh, I still have to tighten it in, in a few spots. I still have to tack it down in the back. And then once the carpet's in there, it'll look nice and uniform. Uh, the steps we're up to right now are these seals, putting these seals into the, the frame. Um, and those are kind of problematic as well. They got their issues as well. You got to trim them. And many times, you know, when you're rolling up this back window here, as this window rolls up, it always catches the seal. So you got to really make sure everything's okay but i tell you you know uh, I, I i've spoken to guys that worked for volkswagen in the past they said these cars leaked out of the factory they leaked when people drove off the dealership um lot so you know uh you got to get creative with these things sometimes and you know many times 
you know, thankfully these are fair weather cars now, right? We're, we're pretty much using them as show cars, weekend drivers, things like that. So, you know, you're hoping you're not going to get caught in a downpour. Now I have heard arguments that the canvas material, as much as it looks very nice on a Beetle, I love the way the canvas looks over the vinyl. The vinyl to me looks pretty cheap, um, but the canvas looks beautiful. But the argument over the canvas and vinyl is that the canvas will absorb water uh, more than the vinyl will. Um, so that's one thing uh, to consider if, if you are using yours as a daily driver or something and you're going to be caught in weather. So, but for the most part, you know, like us, uh, we use these for shows and, and weekends and things. So for the most part, the top is going to be down. Uh, but uh, this is where we're at, guys. And uh, I think it's coming out awesome uh, from my first stab at this. We still have to wrap this up. I had a, was stapling this to the front bow was a little was a little tedious and nerve-wracking as well because you got to make sure when you staple this material onto the bow that flap that wraps over the bow this bead you want to make sure is to the edge of the bow or if not further down a little bit so it's almost tucked under because once you latch this top down this is going to pull the material and then pull this bead back too many times people will fasten the front material to the bow not down far enough and when it comes time to pull it back, now all of a sudden it's stretched, the, the seam here is stretched to here. Uh, so definitely want to keep an eye out on that. But again, I'm going to be putting together a how-to guy. So uh, hopefully uh, it's going to be a multi-part piece. It's going to probably take some time to do. Um, but uh, please bear with me and be, be, be patient. And now uh, I'll have this for you. So if you guys got any questions, uh, Chris at ClassicBWBugs.com. Or visit my website, www.classicbwbugs.com. That is the update on the 70s Saga convertible installation. And uh, if you guys get any questions, just give me a holler, okay? All right, guys. Be well. Bye. Bye.